Hi, this is Dan, uh, editor at Scooter in Magazine. We're just doing a small series of videos uh, in relation to an upcoming series of articles in the magazine. The series will be headed up by Stan, who's doing a trip to Poland on his Lambretta. So we're gonna do a few unboxing videos of some of the products that we've got lined up to go in the engine. It's a small block engine, um, for his Lambretta, and so let's take a look at some of the products. Right, the next series of items we're going to look at is uh, is the BGM items. Some of the BGM, some of the BGM items that we've got for this build. Uh, we've already had a look at the Quattrini kit, the Delicarb, Sip Crank, and AF close ratio gearbox in some of the other videos. If you want to take a peek at those, but for now we're going to look at the uh, BGM stator plate, BGM flywheel, and their clutch. As I mentioned in the other videos for the other items, it's not an in-depth technical, it's just more of an unboxing so you, the viewer, can see what we are using in this build so that if and when you follow it, either online or on the mag in the magazine, that you will know what went into that engine, what got into Poland and which stuff, if any, we had problems with and how those issues were resolved. So this is very straightforward. These have been out for ages. These were released at a time when Pretty much the only uh, other available or mainly available state of plate was the Indian stuff. And at that time, the Indian stuff was actually having a really bad time with quality control. Uh, and these came to light, the BGM state of plate. There's a whole bunch of other stuff out on the marketplace now, but at the time that these came out, I just thought these were the absolute daddy. Um, really, really well engineered piece of kit. Um, reliable, come with all the necessary uh, gubbins that you need. Um, and overall for 80 quid, good bit of kit. Um, this is their flywheel. At a price point it comes in at the upper end. It's I believe 190 pounds for the flywheel. Again, there are more expensive flywheels out there. Um, so it, it's not the most expensive flywheel on the market, but again, for the, um, for the build quality, for um, obviously it's, if you're going with the BGM state plate it makes sense to go with the BGM flywheel um, they're made to go together you can get uh, other stuff to work you know with other flywheels and other stators um, sometimes it'll fit straight off the cuff sometimes you need a little bit of adjustment on the height of the laminates of the state plate or perhaps to use a packer plate on it if, if that's the case depending which combination you're using but um, if you're going to go you know for, for the, the, the BGM stuff, then it makes sense in my mind to get those two items to work together. Um, and the last component that we've got in the BGM unboxing for this part of the video is a super, super strong clutch. Now I like strong clutches. The reason I like strong clutches is because traditionally when I worked at Scooter Erotica, um, I used to get a lot of work building the higher horsepower engines and so up to a certain element I think we went through a, a good exercise with Daryl Taylor in one of our technical articles in the magazine where he tested the four plate clutches up to a certain point then when you get to that point you need to go to the five plate clutches and then you're looking at perhaps str stronger springs and so on once you get beyond that certain point back in the old school days people did big crankcase conversion things and elongating kickstarts and all sorts of stuff like that just not necessary anymore hasn't been for a long time people like uh, lth and bgm just came out with these really really good uh quality clutches um off the top of my head this is 390 it's a complete unit very very well engineered very very strong item this will handle a significant amount of power which is more power, this will handle more power than this particular build is going to put out. But it's one of those things that, um, this kit that, that Stan's putting together for Poland, it's capable of being far more powerful if he wanted it to be. So quite often people buy a clutch that only suits the build that they've got at that time. Then later on, they wanna add some power to that and the clutch can't handle it, so they have to spend again. This is a really good item, uh, handles a lot of power, so it might be overkill for what we're doing now, but later on, if the kit is tuned or it moves to a, a, a higher level of, um, of engine performance, this is also going to handle that as well. So I really, really like the BGM clutches, great bit of kit, and then we've got the BGM flywheel and stator plate um, to go with this build as well. So that's those items unboxed. 
We're going to have a look at some of the other items, uh, some of the suspension bits and pieces, and a few other items in the next video.